Hey everybody, it's Cam and I'm back with a video today of a card that I'm going to make for you. It's kind of a Valentine card. I haven't done a whole lot with Valentine's this year. It's been really busy. So anyway, let's get started. I'm going to use one of my new favorite ones, Stitched Together C1459. And we're also going to use Affection C1441. So on the one with the Stitch Together, we're going to use this curly cue looking stitch here and I'm going to put it on a block Let's see. and I'm not going to put it straight I'm going to put it kind of kind of curvy like that then I'm going to ink it up with some black do is I'm just going to stamp um, some random lines on this piece of uh, four by I want to say four by three and three quarters. I'll measure it for you real quick. I'm pretty sure that's what it was though. It's one, two, three, four by one, two, three. Yeah, four by three and three quarters. Okay. So we're just going to put lots of little curly cues, stitched curly cues, going all over this thing randomly in different directions. And then kind of connect the line there. So it's kind of like an offshoot coming off of there. That's the nice thing about these kind of stamps, any any of these plastic, acrylic, whatever you call them, stamps because you can bend them and shape them and put them where you want them to be and it's kind of fun, so. Okay, stamp that. Guess I should have a piece of paper down here, huh? Let's do one going that way, and then maybe one up here at the top, too. Maybe one more. Okay, done with that. And I've made a mess of my map. That's okay. I don't know. It's right. Okay, done with that. And now we're going to take some from the other stamp set that I have here. Where did I put it? I lost it already. Oh, there it is. And we're going to use, actually first, before I do that, while I have this on the stamp, or on the block here, I'm using this big polka dot heart, and I stamped it once in red here and cut it out. I'm also gonna stamp it on this piece I have here which is a square that's two and three quarters on the red, two and three quarter by two and three quarter on the red, and two and a half by two and a half on the white. And I'm gonna stamp that in black, a black polka dot of heart. While I have that, make sure I get that inked good. I'm gonna kinda of do it at an angle here. Make sure I get that down good. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to set that aside for a minute while I do some other things. Done with that little black polka dot, or not black polka dot heart, the polka dot heart. And this is from prior catalog, but it's back in this catalog. It's 
that's why I'm showing it. And I'm going to use, now I should be using a smaller block, but I don't have one on my desk here. I'm going to use some of these different little hearts, and I'm going to use the XOXO and the Cutie Pie, one at a time. I'm going to use the Holiday Red stamp pad, and I'm going to just stamp some random little hearts. These are like the little hearts that you get, candy hearts that you get that have sayings on them from forever ago. I'm going to stamp some random, oops, that one didn't stamp good. Oh, I don't think I can fix that. I think that'll be covered up anyway, so I'm going to keep going here. I didn't have my stamp inked up good, and I didn't press down evenly. Okay, so let's take that one off. And I'm also going to use the one that says XOXO. There's also a blank heart on here and one that says missed you. But this is more like just a Valentine card, so I just want XO and love things on here. And I'm going to put of these I'll wipe that off before I get it everywhere because I'm using too big a block so so XOXO I think that's enough of that okay and then I'm also going to use on this stamp set is a little stitch tart so that goes really good with the stitching that I've already used We're going to stamp a few stitch tarts around, too. And I think I'm going to stamp some off the page here a little bit. Let me grab a piece of scratch paper so I don't ruin my pad any more than what I already have done. I'm going to stamp some of these in black too, just to kind of give it more fun here. I haven't done a craft video in a while. I think I'm a little off my game here. Just haven't had a lot of time on my hands between work and home. So. So just do that however you want. Just make some random stamping all over your little piece of paper here. Make your own kind of little background there. And hopefully today I'm also going to do a couple on some of the new paper packs because they are so cute. I just wanted to do one more Valentine card because I really hadn't done much. Alright, so then I'm going to mount this piece to a piece of black. Got my ATG gun fixed the other day. I had loaded it. I had a problem getting it loaded and it wouldn't, um, wasn't working right. I ended up having to take that whole roll out and start with a whole new roll. So I'm going to take that back and hopefully get credit for it. And I also went to the eye doctor yesterday. Yes, guess what? I do need glasses, but I can't have contacts. I'm so bummed. So my vanity's going to have to go, but I only need them for this kind of stuff, for reading and close-up stuff. I can still see far away. Good enough, he said. So I'm going to go with that. All right, now I'm going to mount, my goodness, I got glue in places that I didn't want it to be. I'm going to mount this piece of black, which is a quarter inch bigger than the white, so it is, how big, it is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, five and a half by, one, two, three, by four, okay, it's a quarter inch smaller than 
the card base, which is the regular five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm going to put this on so my hearts are kind of upright, hopefully. So I'm going to put that down, a little border all the way around. And it's not perfect, but I'm just showing you guys my idea for this card. And I'm going to mount this piece of red onto a piece of black, a quarter inch bigger. Also, before I start, well, two or three takes ago, I had also already made um, using that same affection stamp set used Love You, and you can cut out a little shape off your Cricut if you want to, but I just cut a square, um, a square that is two inches by two inches, I believe, and the black one, the black part, the black part's two by two, so this is... Uh, two and three quarters by two and three quarters and this is or not two and three quarters, yeah two and three one and three quarters my gosh I am having a word challenge today today all right so two inches by two inches the black the next one is one and three quarters by one and three quarters and the white is one and a half by one and a half okay <clears throat> so there we go so we're gonna put this down with this red heart that I cut out on top, and then love you. I think we'll go with stacking those just a little bit. Like that. Okay. So, I don't have my dimensionals here on my desk, so I'm just going to show you how it's going to look, and then I'll show you a picture at the end. So I'm going to have to stop and go find those. I am still in my unorganized state with not having my craft room. So, so I'm going to put this kind of towards the top. And this is going to go here. And this is going to go under just a teensy bit with some dimensionals. Okay, so that's what the card's going to look like, and I will show you a picture at the end once I put all those dimensionals on just to make it all stick just so. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are having a great day, and hope you have a great Valentine's with your honey. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, there is my finished card. I got some dimensionals and popped up that heart and popped up this little square over here, and there you go. Hope you guys like that, and hope you have a great Valentine's Day. Bye-bye.